Please. If I suppose it doesn't mind. No room, no room, no room, no room. There's plenty of room. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. There isn't any. Oh! <laughs> then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, I'm glad you've begun asking riddles. I believe I can answer that. Oh! Does that mean you think you could find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then why don't you say what you mean? I mean what I say. That's the same thing you know. No, 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 no! Not the same thing a bit! Why? You might just as well say, I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. You might just as well say that I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I like. You might just as well say that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you. <coughs> Clean cup! <laughs> What day of the month is it? The fourth. Two days wrong. I told you butter wouldn't suit the works. It was the best butter. Yes, but some crumbs must have gone in it as well. You should not have left it in with the bread knife. It was the best butter. What a funny watch. It tells what days of the month it is, but doesn't say what o'clock it is. Why should it? Does yours tell what year it is? Of course not, but that's because it stays the same year for such a long time together. Which is the same thing with mine. I don't understand. The Dormouse is asleep again. Wake up, Dormouse! Of course, of course. Just what I was going to remark myself. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, no, I give it up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I! No. <laughs> than wasting it in asking riddles with no answer. If you knew time as well as I did, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. I don't understand. Oh, of course you don't. I dare say you never even spoke to time. Perhaps not. But I know I have to beat time when I learn music. <laughs> that accounts for it. He won't stand for beating. Now, if only you kept on good terms with time, you'd do almost anything you'd like with the clocks. For instance, suppose it were nine o'clock in the morning, just in time to begin morning lessons. We'd only have to whisper a hint to time, and round goes the clock in a twinkling. Half past one, time for dinner. I only wish it was. That would be grand, certainly. But I wouldn't be hungry for it, you know. Not at first, perhaps, but... You could keep it at half past one as long as you like. Is that the way you manage? Not I. We quarreled last month. <laughs> Just before he went mad, you know. It was at the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts. I had to sing. <laughs> Twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. <gasps> you know the tune, perhaps? I've heard something <laughs> like it. Well, it goes on, and in this way. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, 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 twinkle
I had hardly finished the first verse. I had hardly finished the first verse. I had hardly finished the first verse. Stupid Dormouse, go get it. When the queen called out, he is murdering the tie off with his head. How dreadfully savage. And ever since then, he won't do a thing I ask. It's always six o'clock here now. Is that why so many tea things are put out? Yes, that's it. We've no time to wash the things between wives. So you keep moving around, I suppose. Exactly so, as the things get used up. But when you come to the beginning again? Suppose we change the subject. Clean cup! <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. I vote the lady tells a story. I'm afraid I don't know one. Then, then the, the Dormouse shack. Wake, wake up, up Dormouse! I wasn't asleep. I heard every word you fellows were saying. Well, tell us a story. Yes, please do. And be quick about it, or you'll be asleep before it's done. Once upon a time, there were three little sisters named Elsie, Lacey, and Tilly, and they lived at the bottom of a well. What did they live on? They lived on treacle. They couldn't have done that, you know. They'd have been ill. So they were very ill. But why did they live at the bottom of a well? Take some more tea. I haven't had any yet, so I can't take more. You mean you can't take less. It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. Who's making personal remarks now? <laughs> why did they live at the bottom of a well? It was a treacle well. There's no such thing. <laughs> If you can't be civil, you'd better finish the story yourself. No, no, please do go on. I won't interrupt again. I dare say there may be one. Oh, one indeed. And so the three little girls, they were learning to draw, you know. What did they draw? Treacle. But I don't understand. I want a clean cup. <whistles> clean cup. <laughs> I don't understand. Where did they draw the treacle from? You can draw water from a water well, so I should think you can draw treacle from a treacle well. Eh, stupid? But they were in the well. Oh, so they were. Well, in a... <laughs> <laughs> they were learning to draw everything that begins with an M. Why an M? Why not? That begins with an M, such as Memory, the moon, and muchness. You know they say things are much of a muchness. Have you ever seen such a thing as a drawing of a muchness? Really? Now you ask me. I don't think that... Then you shouldn't talk. stupidest tea party I've ever been to in all my life. 